to ano uh, to uh, promote philately by uh, conducting free stamp lectures. Now uh, my lecture is uh, is this part your first time? <laughs> the very second time. I know I know the face. I know the face. I am a photographic memory. <laughs> oh, oh, oh this used to be our lecture. No, but it cannot contain any more uh, dame the dame because no the uh, thirty, forty colonatarian. I can know this is very few the crowd of during the during the stop lecture no medyo marami ah, 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 ah. the place can accommodate uh, mga more than 40 talaga uh, it's uh, very you know, very crowded kaya and and i'm afraid some of you i'm not going to say bad words but i cannot guarantee kung may nawala but because it is a library and everybody is free to go in but we don't check anybody coming out Maybe most of the pamphlets there are priceless. Some will just take it as soon, just as soon as they are. Yeah, it's much better than having a little bit of a restricted area. Meron kami ng pagpapaskin na alam hindi pwedeng galawan, kaya lawin, meron alam. Then eventually, it almost got fired dito. Kaya totally hindi na ginamit. Salabi na ginagamit. Hindi lang got fired na umuuna na rin nga sa pinto, talking, talking, talking. But the fire started from uh, one floor below. So, we know he's been so we know he's been so we know he the hobby of some collecting, you know, I think it's, uh, it's already a dying hobby because nobody is uh, interested to collect stuff. But, uh, but uh, not even mail. Because of uh, email now, and the Facebook book and the book. Pa. No? Uh, nobody even knows how to write a letter. When I say write, it's just doing it in a, in a typing, uh, in, a, in a typewriter. No, what I say is handwriting. Yeah. Even in China, they're so hooked up the computer. Chinese characters just don't in front of your screen and they just bring it out and then it. Now they don't know how to write anymore. So calligraphy is another art. Kailangan marunong tayo magsulat sa yung grade 1, grade 2, tinuturo tayo, letter A, kailangan, gano'n, gano'n. Ngayon, purong ka computer, type lang, type na lang eh. So, diba? So what if you imagine a world without computer and typewriter? What will happen? You will go to basics. No? Ngayon, mas marami yata ang nabibentang mga ink eh, sa bolpen eh. So, <laughs> next. <laughs> Lalo na, continuous ink pa. <laughs> well, any rate, any rate, stamp collecting is not really the stamp itself pa rin. It is more important, no? To know what is behind the stamp. Why was it made into a stamp? It has to have some historic value. It has to inform us of something. Now, that's what the computer will not tell you. Only the stamp is related to you, no? Kaya, yeah, importante pa rin yung stamps kasi that is the only thing left na mak makakaling tayo sa past. Normally, a commemorative stamp commemorates an event. A definitive stamp is normally a topic. Definitive is always used sa mga general mailing natin. A commemorative is seldom used sa mail. Kinokollect lang yan ng mga collectors. For too many of them. Yan mga topics eh. No? Pero ang, ang definitive topic rin yan, pero popular topics like our uh, our mga uh, endemic species na napakarami like ito, walang katakutan na butterfly, ang daming butterfly. Actually, there are more than 1,700 butterfly species. Ganun ka rin guys. I think mga wala na yung lahat gana natin sa butterfly. Tapos, earlier than butterfly, puro orchids naman. Well, marami din na orchids. We have more than 1,370. <laughs> Okay, I'm a member, and I'm a board member of the Orchid Society. I'm the first one. I'm a member of the Orchid Society. I'm a member of the Orchid Society. Jack of all trades, master of none. Anyway, I'm a hero. Actually, we have so many, the, the Philippines is talaga diverse tayo, no? the mga, not only endemic, ha, pati mga important species, dito na pro-flourish, no? And so, 
nakakaroon tayo ng definitive series. Now, I am suggesting the next definitive series na marami rin tayong mga kwan, mga, mga mailalabas sa mga subject would be fruit. Frutas naman. No? Kasi, living things, eh, yung moving sunod-sunod, ilang, ilang taon na. Eh. Ngayon, non-moving naman mga, mga prutas o mga mga alaman. Pero prutas will be promoting our export. Kasi produce natin dito. So that would help. Now, sometimes bird is not producing any export. Eh. No? It's just to tell people to come in and, and, and ornithologists to come in and look at our birds. No? But then, itong fruit, yeah, it has a commercial impact. Like our mangoes, apis, whatever. No? Although some of this we cannot compare to other countries and quality, but we have a very diverse group of fruits that could sustain us for three years continuously. No? And that is a that is a very, very important subject. I'm proposing it and uh, chances are I I'm a member of some advisory committee. I'm the one who advised or acted consultant for a post office, no, to have an idea on what to issue as far as stamps is concerned. This is for the whole nation, Philippines, the post office. No? Uh, rather bago lang ako, but then uh, I think I'm contributing a lot also. Hopefully, magiging uh, better next year. No? Now, um, what I'm holding here is a uh, bulletin. For non-collectors, or those who do not intend to collect, please do not get it. Because this is reserved for collectors only. No? A bulletin is an advertising tool. Normally, this comes out before the stamp is being issued to tell, to tell all collectors the possibility of how much you're going to spend and what is the story behind the stamp before you buy it. So a bulletin is an advertising tool, remember. It is always given before the stamp is actually going to be printed. But that's to say, the practice here in the Philippines is the stamp comes first before the bulletin. <laughs> <laughs> it's always late. Uh, to tell you frankly, I'm always at us. Kaaway ako. Kaaway ko ang kinatilipin. Ano, ang tawo nito? Sweet and sour relationship. Hindi, telenovela tayo. Telenovela tayo. Ako ang pinaka-hard critic ng ating post office. That's why I became a member. I want to improve it in some committee. No? Our philatelic department no? is on the other side of the building. And this whole building pala, for your information, is already sold. Not sold, but uh, for the next 50 years, it will be converted into a, you know, a but uh, I don't know if uh, the plans will be delayed because of the recent flood. Nakita nila yung pala below si level pala itong post office. No, they should have pumping station. A problema should have. Ayaw bumaksi siguro. No, we have pumping station. But here, here. Walang diesel eh. Ay, ito tagig yun. Okay, ito sa tagig, hindi mangyayari sa manila. Hindi ko sa makapapaisan ng bago dito sa loob ng pito. Sa, ano, sa, alam ninyo yung uh, City Hall sa Quezon City, BIR Road, NIA, NIA, Mandarian, uh, yung lumang post office nila, no, nabawi nila eh. Actually, pinakolateralize sa yun eh. No? Uh, actually, kukunin na ng PPO, Banco de Oro, tapos nagawa nilang paraan, nabayaran ulit yun. Ano, Ray, ikat muna natin yan, baka masensation.